This is the sixth segment that we're casting. It takes seven segments for the Giant Magellan Telescope, and we're hoping to cast an eighth segment to act as a spare to one of the off-axis mirrors. So we can still have a full telescope while another one's being serviced. Over the past year, really the biggest challenge first was getting personnel back into the lab, trying to get approval from the university to get the personnel back in the lab. We have the benefit of operating in a very large space. The Mirror Lab basically has three hallways that are basically four stories tall, over 100 feet long and 45 feet wide. A lot of airspace, a lot of ways to separate personnel. So we were able to bring people in to polish the mirrors, to build the molds, and to attach load spreaders to mirrors fairly safely. Synchronizing the work of those people who could not be at the lab has been a bit more challenging. People have to wear face coverings, they often wear gloves, and we have basically been practicing very extensive cleaning protocols. Now, when you go to casting, it turns out the mold material that, that we use for, you know, to basically cast these mirrors, the fibers of this mold material already has some behaviors similar to asbestos. So we've, we've had a lot of protocol for basically using negative air pressure to, to capture those fibers, as well as uh, masks uh, as, as necessary. So those are things that we've already been doing, and those tend to keep people safe anyway. Now we've added to that, we're gonna clean more, and we're gonna keep our team members farther apart while they're working. And when we can't avoid keeping them apart, if we have to bring them close together, then they both would be wearing uh, face masks. One thing that we've also been doing in terms of casting is we've been upgrading the computers that the operators use to uh, operate the furnace. Basically, the computer systems that we've been using in the past uh, were, were dating back to the 90s. Now, the, the newer computers and the newer software that we're using enables some remote access. So whereas we've had to have multiple people in the control room at various times, we no longer will need to do that. We're going to be able to have some other people um, take a look at the information remotely. And that's going to be a, a great help to keeping people separated throughout the casting.